Hello and welcome to the premiere of Vintage Dolphin. Where we're always looking for vintage items to flip and just about anything that we can make a little money off. Brand new with tags, anything like that. So I'm brand new at eBay, just opened the store up, made a little money, actually shut it down during the COVID times, but I've been able to source some more and I'm gonna take you around on this channel, do lots of garage sale videos, um, what we can find at the thrift store and some other little secret ways to find good good deals, buy cheap, sell as high as we can get. You know, fair market value, you can only get what you can get. But we're going to buy as cheap as we can. And if we know the items are really worth the money and we've done our proper research or sold them before, we are definitely willing to pay up a little bit. But I hope everybody is uh, doing all right. And I think selling on eBay, Poshmark, whatever your platform, I choose eBay. Um, but whatever it is, it can definitely help you with a little extra money on the side. And it's pretty fun going out to the thrift stores or hitting the garage sales. Um, good hobby and something you can do. I'm going to try to turn it into a business and be a little more full time than maybe some. So I hope you guys get a lot of good tips from watching these videos. And I'm going to take you around and show you some of the stuff that I bought. I bought kind of a lot of stuff for uh, starting off without a ton of sales and having my store closed down while it's on uh, vacation mode for a little while. But we are opening back up. So it's official. Vintage Dolphin will be open. And you can get on there and check out all the cool stuff we bought. Uh, speaking of that, I'm going to take you around kind of first person view and just show you some of the stuff that we got mainly before we put the store on uh, vacation and quite a bit of cool items and also talk about just what we did just getting started and some of the stuff that's on the horizon so let's check out a couple items and some things we got first off so we can get going successfully on ebay so i thought get shipping supplies that are free for sure um, we did pick up some of these envelopes just so we could get started and use some cheaper tape but I have been able to source a nice tape gun and proper roll of tape for doing this and nice scale I can't remember exactly You'd have to check it out but it goes up to I think 300 pounds or something like that it seems to be quite accurate so we're definitely gonna need that kind of stuff we got a printer that prints with black ink so at first we can tape our labels on and print them off the eBay store which is gonna save you a little bit on shipping and then when we first started on eBay, when you're brand new, sometimes people don't trust you. So if you put your name right on your pictures, it, it helps people know that you are who you say you are. So that's a little tip to get you started and to get you some positive feedback. Also, if some things, as far as shipping supplies, we actually bought on eBay to help get our positive feed up, feedback up through purchases. And this is just some of the items over here. Show you kind of some of the stuff we've been finding. Paid up seven bucks for brand new with tags. Real nice tiger shirt there. I look for NASCAR stuff. I look for vintage, obviously. Vintage dolphin. Check this out. This is one of my favorite finds right here. ESPN Total Sports Network jacket from somebody in my day espn was everything there wasn't as many places to get your new get your sports back then so espn was definitely everything back then i'm sourcing ugly christmas sweaters and shirts be ready for a nice q4 because uh quarter four is always when everybody does the most shopping so i think christmas items aren't a bad idea if you can afford the inventory tie up a little money until the end of the year but that's a strategy i'm going with um, we look for as many college t-shirts and that kind of stuff as we can find um tommy hill figure nautica polo that kind of stuff i can't see a logo on that one this is just a cabela's nice heavy duty so michigan state t-shirt right here anything new with tags i look for even some of the smaller schools because them probably aren't going to be for sale in the area where that person lives. But they might be going off to school. They might want to get some clothes a little ahead of time. And the more we got into it here, I started checking out hard goods. So we got some Pokemon cards. That was a bit of a gamble. We'll make a profit on that. But I'd be careful with Pokemon cards. 
the remotes, I would say check them out. But definitely, if the comp sold comps are there, you can use your eBay app to find out what these items are worth. There, I would definitely go for it. This is a lot of nice remotes in this lot, and I got it for relatively cheap. There's a lot of Sony. There's a brand new Direct TV remote. I think went for twenty twenty five dollars. So this is going to be a small fortune in remotes for somebody just getting started. So I'm quite happy with that. Anything video games right now is hot. People are trying to stay in their home as much as possible. We're still getting something done. This was an extra nice wool hat. I bought the lot for something else, but man, that is a nice hat. What was the name on that? So you guys can look out for them. This is a really good brand hat. Wigwam. And this is almost brand new. So that'll be a real nice seller there. Ugly Christmas sweaters. Brand new. A little bit of retail arbitrage. I hit TJ Maxx. There's TJ Maxx right there. So I like hitting that every once in a while for retail arbitrage. Some stuff will surprise you. Vintage pencils. I mean, who would have thought, right? Let them go for pretty good money. You can sell them five or ten at a time or you can sell all of them in a lot but uh, i bought an adding machine for two bucks that i'll get forty dollars for and i was very surprised that i'll probably end up making so i can't remember between 30 and 50 off of these little box of pencils that came with it so very profitable pickup there for two dollars i don't know how many of these i'm gonna flip but uh i'll try it so i'll let you know if some of these items are gonna sell sl slower and some of them are going to sell much faster. So you guys will be able to learn with me. If you don't mind a little patience. I'm not an expert. I'm brand new. But I've done a lot of research. If something's at the right price and it's small. Even if i got to sit on it a little while, I don't mind. I think this is going to be a real nice purchase here. I paid a dollar for most of these. And they're all kind of collector's versions. So... We're gonna get the little cars. It's kind of nice when they're collector's version, so we know I got a little bit of re resale to them. I do have some other cars that are just antiques that I'm gonna make some good money on, I imagine. I don't think them are right down here. Sorry about all the shadows. I have to get some more lighting down here. It's a brand new first episode. So I got just a ton of LPs. I would try to be careful with the LPs, but if you got a good selection of uh, good taste in music like I do, it happens to be worth a little bit of money. So I got some Frank Sinatra's and uh, classic rock from the 60s and 70s. Uh, I think uh, Bing Crosby, a little bit of that stuff was worth some pretty good money. So we're going to try that. I'd never planned on that, but I got them at the right price, and there does seem to be some money in it. And I got all these uh, kind of inventoried. And I've got to keep them in that order because I got them on the computer upstairs. It was a pretty good turnaround for the money I paid. This is where I plan on spending most of my time. Shoes and nice vintage shirts. Boots. I really like boots. I've got a lot of nice shirts already up on the store. They're in these totes. They're hanging over here. That's a big Nautica, 3X Nautica. So I do look for the bigger sizes too. I think they demand a little higher price. Whoops. I can't wait to get this decked out down here and just make it beautiful. Maybe get a proper studio for filming. But for right now, you guys stick with me. You can make some money and maybe we'll both build a studio. And we can afford it. Look at these beautiful things. Antique, brand new, never worn. That is a vintage dolphin right there. I think these were sorrels. Yep, sorrels. My mom's trying to claim them, but she doesn't know how much they go for. So, odds are that's going to build the business right there. Love you, Mom. We'll find you some new boots. I had to pay up for them a little bit. I think they went for 12 bucks. Not too bad though, considering what they were. Baffin boots. Almost brand new. Them things demand a $100 bill, I do believe. So I'll be learning as I go, because some of this stuff's a little bigger and it weighs a little more. So we'll really find out. We'll do our learning lessons with you on the shipping. 
But I've been researching as much as one can research. Sometimes it's going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to learn my lessons on my own. It may, might cost me a dollar here or there, but I'm willing to get it going. Learn our lessons, and then I can relay them over to you. So if you guys stick with me, hopefully I can save you some money on the old shipping department. All right, well, I hope you guys like this first look around. I got a bunch more stuff, actually, that I've been sourcing that's not right here. I'll be cleaning it up and getting my shelves built and I'm getting stuff stored down here nice and proper. But uh, definitely tag along. Hopefully we can make a little extra money. Have some fun finding lots of fun clothes. I know I definitely enjoy it. There's a lot of business behind it, but the fun part's going out and finding the treasure. And uh, thinking a little outside of the box. You never know what could demand a little bit of money. So if you want to learn some lessons with me, Keep following along, and we'll see you on the next one.